Okay, we're Simon Kuf Ayin Dalit. Now this is quite a, this is a very common halacha. Uh, it's a very interesting area of halacha. I'll tell you how it applies. We're talking about Birchas Hayayin in a Su'uda. So we know that the Mishnah says in Brachas, pas is patas all foods in, in a meal. So, you sit down, breakfast this morning, you want to wash your hands, you don't have to make a separate bracha on the cheese, on the egg, on the cereal, or whatever. Making the bracha, if I might see, covers all the food you're going to have in the meal. Okay. So, too, yain putters all the drinks. So, if I make a bir goffin on a glass of wine, and there's other drinks out there, I don't need to make a separate bracha on the orange juice, on the coffee, or whatever it may be. Because, if you look at the first halacha, set in Sif Aleph, Yayin she betoich hasuda, mevarich alav bo pragofen, ve'ein hapas poitre. Bread exempts other foods, but it doesn't exempt wine, because of the chashivas of wine. And therefore, Yayin she betoich hasuda, mevarich alav bo pragofen, ve'ein hapas poitre. And the bracha you made on the bread is not going to help you for the wine. You would need to make a new bracha. Says the Mishnah Mura Sif Katan Aleph, even though you may be drinking the wine in order to help the food go down, so therefore it's part of the Suda, and therefore it's considered part of the meal. Since wine is considered so choshev, it's not considered included in the bracha of pas, uh, and therefore you need to make a separate uh, bracha on the wine. Even if you say that the bread is going to cover, you say it explicitly, that the bread is going to cover whatever I'm going to have during the meal, it will not help you for the wine. Now, I'll tell you where this is no gaya, and sometimes we, we, people forget, but it's not, Friday night, for example, what's the minigolem? You stand up, you make kiddush, and, and then let's say, and you wash, and then you have some wine during the meal, We'll see the details soon, but let's say the wine was on the table. You don't need to make a new Berber Agofen on the wine. So long as you had some for Kiddush, you tasted some, you don't need to make a new Berber Agofen because you already made it. What about Shalashudas? You didn't start Shalashudas with Kiddush. So you just have Shalashudas, you wash for Natila Sadaim, you sit there, and then you decide to have a glass of wine during Shalashudas. The halacha is you've got to make a new Berber Agofen. Right? And, that, and that's because this is this halacha. Okay, now let's go to the next one. Yayin, halacha base. Yayin paita kol mine mashkin. Wine exempts any other drink, like I just said. Says the Ramah, afilim bracha rishayna. Even from a bracha rishayna. So for example, and this is again, this could be quite common. Shabbos morning, you're sitting, you're making kiddush, and you uh, make a ver pragofen on the wine, and we'll see the footnote says even grape juice. And then you have a coffee, or you have a glass of orange juice. You don't need to make a bracha rishayna on that coffee or that orange juice. That's exact. That is just an application of this halacha. And I must say, this could be meisim b'chol, b'chol Shabbos. You make a kiddush on grape juice or on wine, and then you have a cold glass of drink or whatever, or a coffee, then you do not need to make a shahakal on that. We'll see the details now. Says the Mishnah Bura Sivkotin base, Yain Paita, why is that? Shehurayish v'rish n'chala mashkin, because this is the number one drink. V'chulan nitfalin uh, and all other drinks are subordinate to it, and therefore you make a bir on the wine that will cover other drinks. Kolmine mashim says the Mishnah Bura Sif Katan Gimel, or bilvad shiu lefanav al hashulchan b'shasha berich al ayayin. So long as those drinks are out on the table in front of you, the idu lehayu lefanav b'shasha bracha, because if they weren't, afshe view hamashkin lefanav b'shasha omad adayin hoy lefanav lo imahani v'tzarech levarich alehem. If they, you later decide to have a coffee or, they, or an orange juice, then you would need to make a bracha. However, there are those who are mekel, even if there was not out in front of you, and your das was on them. In other words, you knew as you were making Kiddush that you were going to have a coffee uh, soon with a piece of cake or something. Then, if your das was to have that coffee, so then, even though the coffee wasn't out in front of you, then the Ber Pragofen would cover it. That's only true if you were going to be covert to have that glass of wine. If you were covert to drink wine, Given 
and then more makel, and therefore it was going to come anyway, and therefore you would not need to make a bracha on the drinks that are going to be brought for you. The imbol of of acha gamash but if it was came after you finished drinking the wine, you need to make a bracha on the on the drink. Kein kasev maram benet bebe uray imlo shahoya daita alamashkin kaidim gamash dias. If you so long as you didn't have das on it before you finished. Ulachat chila. What's the best aid? So if you're making Kiddush and you, you're making on a grape juice and you plan to have a cup of coffee with a piece of cake or something, the best thing is, is to actually make the coffee and put it on the table before you make Kiddush, then that takes away any Shailah. Again, a very common situation where you're making Kiddush and you're being mighty other people if other people did not drink, they didn't taste any wine from the Kiddush cup, and they also want to have a coffee or a glass of Coke or whatever, even though it may have been out on the table, they need to make a bracha, because the Eitzah only helps if you actually drink a bit of the wine. The reason why uh, the yayin is patas other drinks is because other drinks are toffled to it, are subordinate to it. But if you didn't drink from it, then not. Okay, Okay, just a couple of uh, interesting uh, footnotes. If you look at number three, there's discussion whether this halacha, the wine exempts other drinks, uh, applies to grape juice. And the Maskana, we say it does. If you, if halfway through it says he brings the Levush. The Levush says, Atam, he says, what's the Svara that it, grape juice should apply? He says, the reason is, Shatam Lakach, Shepoit Sham Mashkin, Kimin Shem Machmas Chashivusa Kaveh Broch Laatzmai. The whole reason why it patters other drinks is because wine is considered more chashev because Chazal <coughs> dedicated a special bracha for it. And that's true for grape juice. So therefore, since the svara is you've got a dedicated bracha, that's true for grape juice. And therefore, just like wine patters other liquids, so too with grape juice. Um, if you then look at number five, this is interesting. Um, that a guest could sometimes have a slightly different rule if you in a lenient way look at this number five in the second paragraph if you've got a guest uh, who's who's eating with a balabais the rule is that the guest is whatever he's not in charge so whatever the balabais is going to bring him he's going to bring him and so, so and there so too in respect of this halacha for the guest even though the drinks were not out in front of him very interesting so for the balabais or the how the bnei bias the really the, st- the strict rule is that the other liquids should be on the table for the birchas hagefen to pata other drinks or at least his das should be on them um but for a guest, even if they weren't, he would not need to make a shahaka on his coffee because the, that would be included in the Ber Pragofen because whatever the Balabais brings him, is, he's going to bring him. And that's how uh, the rule of the Rech works. Now, just one final thing, the last, next paragraph. If someone normally drinks other drinks after he has the Kiddush, the, the wine, or whatever it is, Mashem B'Sha'atzian, Shenech Shev Kamisha Yisadai Telekach. That's very interesting. So, for example, let's say this morning you come home and you make a kiddush, and your minig is you normally have a coffee and a piece of cake. So, even if it wasn't in front of you, or even if you didn't have das on it, if that is your you know weekly practice, you would not need to make a bracha shahakal on your coffee. Because that's what you're, it's, it's sort of implied that the Baripira Govind is going to include it. So these are quite common shilas, uh, important to know. Okay, say that we'll leave it up.